To write the formula for iron 3 oxide, let's first write down each of the elements. So iron, that's Fe, and then oxygen, that's O. We know that we have an ionic compound because we have a metal and a nonmetal. So if it's ionic, we're going to have to deal with charges. We can look up here and we see this Roman numeral 3 in parentheses. That tells us that the charge on the iron is going to be plus 3. When we look at the oxygen, we don't have that information. We need to go to the periodic table. Oxygen is in group 16, sometimes called 6A, and it always has a charge of minus 2. The iron, if you just have Fe, it can be plus 2 or plus 3, so they have to write it so that you know what the charge is. So we have our charges, and there's two ways to do this. What I think I'll do is show you the easy way first, and then we'll check our work. The simple way to do it is called the crisscross method. We're going to take the charges and crisscross them. So we're going to move the 2, put it down here, and the 3 over here. And then we can get rid of the plus and minus. So this is the formula for iron 3 oxide, but we do need to check our work. So let's put the charges back and see if the charges on the Fe side of the formula cancel out the charge on the oxygen side. So I have 2 plus 3's. So 2 times plus 3, I have a plus 6. And over here, I have 3 times minus 2. That gives me a minus 6. So plus 6 and minus 6, those will cancel out. And because of that, the net charge will be 0. And this is the correct formula for iron 3 oxide. Let's clean things up a bit. And we're done. This is Dr. B with the formula for iron 3 oxide, Fe2O3. Thanks for watching.